Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks, and I'm going to make a ruler for somebody or show them how to make a ruler. And I made one with 16th degree or 1 16th of an inch increment. But the other video, I did it kind of a long roundabout way. So I thought I would go ahead and show a, a better way. So take you a line and draw you a line. And we're going to make this one line 0.75 of an inch. And we're going to grab with our pick tool, grab the bottom and have it snap to that. And there's plenty of videos on how to snap to. Now we're going to set our nudge distance on one inch. And see, I got my box, so if you'll select just that one line, and I'm going to move it over one inch. Now I'm going to take a, another line using my control button to hold it down. I'm going to make this line just 0.6. And I'm going to grab it where I get the box. And I'm going to put it right there. Now I'm going to put my nudge distance on a half of an inch. Grabbing just the line, I'm going to move it over. Now I'm going to make another, i tell you what, we can make a duplicate of that line. And just move it over for a second. And just make it 0.5. Using our pick tool to move it to the corner. Now we're going to move that line one sixteenth of an inch is 0 0.0625. We'll select just a line and we'll make a duplicate. Control D, make a duplicate. Now we're going to go ahead and make a duplicate again, but move it over. Now make another duplicate. I don't know what happened there. There we go. Okay, now we've got what we want. Now select all this and maybe to make it safe, let's control G and make a duplicate. And let's change our nudge distance to one inch. Grabbing this, just the, so I'm not gonna want the ruler, make a duplicate and move it over one inch, 12 times. I mean, how, how easy was that? Now, what we're going to want to do is ungroup this because we're going to have one line right there we do not need. So you can select that line and delete it. Same thing in the last video. I don't know if he's going to cut these out. And really, for preciseness, I would leave them a hairline but just run them real fast in, in a lower power so it doesn't cut through the wood. So cut this job twice. So we're going to group these together. Control G. i tell you what, we're going to group the whole thing together. Control G. And I'm just going to show you how I would do this. Let's move this ruler out of the way. You could actually run it as uh, 0.5 of a line. But it might be a little bit more precise if you use hairlines because they're going to be a little bit thicker. And also this is going to run a lot faster. So let's put it up to the top of our laser. Let's change our nudge distance to 15 inches. Let's ungroup this. Control U or ungroup. And let's move this over. Then I would run this job at a 100 power at, at, you know, plywood will cut through about between 5 and 10 speed. Uh, so if you're making this out of an alder or something that cuts around 10 speed, you know, maybe cut it at 100 power at 50 speed and let, let this vector line work for you. And then just move that out of the way and move this back in the way with your arrow keys. I'm using my left and right arrow key. And then cut this at your normal cut speed. And it'll be dead on because your nudge factor is putting it right back where it was. So I just moved this out of the way double. But I, you could run this all. And like in the other video, you could take and make those lines a half of a hairline. By going right here. You go ahead and make them black so you'll know they're different. And make them 0.5. But I believe that this is going to take a little while to engrave. 
but not too bad. It's just 12 inches. But that would engrave and then cut out in a combo job. Anyway, I hope it answered his question and thank you for watching.